man. All right, Shalom, we back again. You know, uh, we right here. We only look like what, like, what, a couple feet. We bump into another sign. You know, down here in downtown Philadelphia. This is old city where we at. And this is dude, Robert uh, Atkin. We live uh, 1734 to 1802. And uh, it says, uh, an influential revolutionary, Arab printer, he uh, operated a shop on this block where we're standing at. In 1782, uh, Atkin printed the, the nation's first complete English Bible, man. So that's heavy in the soul. Why they, they print the Bible? It says, it received endorsement from Congress. So Congress gave him money to, uh, to, to print this Bible, man. And that's another smack in your face, because that lets you know that we the Israelites, and they know that we the Israelites. You know, so what they do? They use that book against us, man. Just like you got on the stuff, Birth of a Nation, you know, when you had uh, 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 Nat Turner, man, you know? And, um, like, they was trying to get him to uh, uh, go against the school, teach their doctrine keep our people calm so that so that so that they could do what they wanted to do. And that's also how you know Esau knows the Bible. Man. Hey that's that goes to show you with the Amber Geiger when the judge handed her the uh, the Bible. Yo, kind the of court officer I mean they made sure it was Israelites. Man. Rubbing her hair, the core officer, and the judge hugged her, and they handed her the Bible. So then Jake see that shit and be like, you see? Yep, that yep. book is what God is asleep. Yep. You see? Yep, yep, and get, yep, and get yep. straight. That's all psyop yep, to stray away yep. from the Bible. That's right. Yo, that was it. Because they try to use it against us knowing it's our book, you know? But it says, uh, it received endorsement from Congress and was the only new Bible available to the colonists due to printing restrictions and important embargoes. He also published the Journalists of Congress and uh, its official proceedings and the Pennsylvania Magazine, which introduced the writings of Thomas Paine to America. But well, basically, our whole thing is about that Bible, man. All that other stuff is, is, is uh, not, not necessary, man. Yeah, now I, I, and, and the, uh, the Bible is written in scrolls. Scrolls was written way before 1734. That's right. So it just goes to show how they how they altered the Bible. That's why you got all different, all different types of Bibles, the New International, the, you know, the NIV, and, and, and all of it, it, it was a, it basically a council to have, you know, certain literatures to be brought out. Like, like I was saying, you know, a council of Nicaea, I can read a little bit about it, because, you know, it connects. Yeah, you uh, know, they probably told them, yo, don't put this in. Matter of fact, right, they, took, right. they took the Apocrypha out of that. Yep. You know, because the Apocrypha really basically told them devils who they are, man. And then let us know, you know, so, you know, yeah. man, they, they devils, man. Because the Apocrypha goes against their own forefathers. That's right. Bro. So why would they promote something that goes against them? That's right. They Alexander the and, Greek, Philip the Macedonian, God, yeah, the Edomites. And uh, uh, Ptolemy, with, uh, uh, um, over there in Egypt with um, the library, like you said, the library. That's where you get the whole Serapis Christus from, Ptolemy. Oh, that's right, bro. You know what I mean? That's right. But I, I do want to read this real quick. The Council of Nicaea was the first council in the history of the Christian church that was intended to address the entire body of believers. You know, it was it was condemned by the Emperor Constantine to resolve the controversy of Arianism. A doctrine held that Christian was not divine, not divine, but was uh, a created being. So it just, it was all to fit their doctrine, their counsel, just like when you go to the court of law, or the president, when they put their hand on the Bible, right. you know, and God we trust. <laughs> so it's all, it's all manipulative. So to make you think, oh, we're Christians too. Right, right, people. right. But really they're not, you know. And that's how they beat the shit out of our, our, our like my grandmother, she was on that. I thought, oh, you see the president, he's a guy up here in that. <laughs> then they're, like, they're like, yo, they, they were trying to say when they took the uh, prayer out of the schools, that's when the schools had to be messed up, man. Them schools was already messed up, man, you know? And then they wasn't praying to the outside, the outside, the outside, they praying to Jesus, man, you know? Caesar Bouger, man. So yeah, they, they, they did a lot. And then, just like in that movie, uh, Birth of a Nation, he was like, when he started reading the scriptures for himself, he said every scripture that they gave him, he said, we found the scripture that counted that. 
you know? So he knew that they was fucking lying, man. You know? But yeah, man, that's basically it on that, man. Just and they got the shield with the two horses? Yeah, man. That's right. Those were uh, uh, symbols for... That's their coat of arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the whole... The uh, uh, wolf childs and the, the Bilderbergs. Mm. That's right. The red shoe. you gotta understand right. where, where right. symbols come from. That's right. You know, sub subliminal messages. It, it, it stores in your subconscious and you accept it. Like, oh, it's just a horse. Yeah. And the eagle's on top. That's Esau's symbol, that's the eagle. Right. That's right. That's right, man. Had it's good to say, I see serpents on horses. Right. And then they exalt themselves as the eagle. <laughs> they think they're above all the, all, all the nations, but your high boss, you know, Rashad set it up like that, man. You know? For them to be there, man. But yeah, hey, the same way they came up, that's as fast as they're going to fall, man. Yeah, they're not like Christians. Like the scripture say, man, uh, what, Satan was cast out, like like lightning, I believe, up in paraphrasing, you know? So, hey, man, they got hell to pay, man. Wow. Just going to keep it walking up the block, man. Some Shalom. more, more uh, information for you. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.